In today's video, I'm going to be sharing everything I made for the month of October. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kira, Island Socialist on Instagram, and my blog is islandsocialist.com. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. So, the month of October has kind of been a blur. <laughs> if you guys remember, I made three dresses for my mom and I shipped them off with my cousin to take for her at home. Funny story. So remember I said that she was going on vacation and that's why I made the dresses? Well, her vacation wound up here. Yes, she planned a big surprise. My husband was in on it and my parents showed up at my doorstep. So as I expected, I was out of commission for a while, that's why I didn't post any video last week. But I had a fabulous time when they were here and I know they did as well. But that also means that I did not have to rush those two bond dresses and the Stevie. Anyways, they were enjoyable mix and if you have not seen them yet, I'm going to link the video in the iCard above, whichever side. <laughs> and I'll also link it in the description down below. So I made her a yellow ruffle sleeve bond dress. And then I also made her an animal print mixed with floral short sleeve one dress. And then I made her Tilliani Buttons Stevie dress. And that one was a tropical fabric. I'll insert some pictures now. So those were the first three things I made in the month of October. And then if you watch my October plans video, you would have seen the amazing sequin fabric I received from Manova.com in exchange for a blog post. I told you guys I was going to make a maxi dress. That did not happen. <laughs> I'm sure you all can relate that sometimes we have plans and then we change our minds. And we probably change our minds like 10 times. It's just part of a source life. So I ended up making a maxi skirt because I just felt like it was too much to do a full dress like when I actually held the fabric up in front of me I thought it was too much so I went for a maxi skirt with a slit up the leg and the pattern I use is M7569 it's actually a dress pattern and I've used this pattern twice before one was red reversible sequins and the other one was green velvet and I hacked that one to make it an a-line skirt but with this one I just did the skirt alone I added lining from the waist down to just above the beginning of the slit and I used leftover ponty for that if you haven't watched my brassy joggers video which was a fail <laughs> I used some of the leftover ponty from that project so now I'm gonna stop rambling because I know you are dying to see the maxi skirt I'm gonna show you guys now so this is the skirt hair it goes all the way down to the floor this is the back and I made sure that the pattern lined up in the middle of both the front and the back and the slit is right here on the left side now let's talk about the fact that you're supposed to remove the sequence from your seam allowances I had no time for that I never do I never remove my sequins from my seam allowances call me a sewing rebel if you want to but these are really tiny sequins that would have taken me forever <laughs> and I was already late with this post anyway there was no way I was gonna remove those it's lined so I can't feel them anyway and then for the slit area this is the seam here and I hand stitch them down so it's nice and neat and on the inside of the waist I made sure to understitch my lining so it stays down and it's perfectly fine without me removing the sequins I don't think I'm ever going to remove sequins from any seam allowances for the rest of my life I just don't think it's necessary as long as you have a lining you're good in terms of sewing the sequins I had no issues at all to cut them I used a rotary cutter that I was going to change the blade anyway so it didn't matter if the blade got even duller so that's what I used to cut it to sew it I used my regular needle regular presser foot 
regular everything. It was just a little bit more noisy than usual, but I didn't have any needles breaking or anything. It just sewed up like normal. So no complaints there at all. And of course, I'm going to insert some photos of this on. Also in my October plans, I showed you guys the orange rib sweater knit and the stretch snakeskin leather. Those were supposed to be a set and it actually replicated the cover of M7983. The only difference is that I made a different length skirt. So here is the top. If you are familiar with this pattern, you would know that this was actually supposed to be a bodysuit. But mine is pretty much a crop top. And the reason for that is that there was no way that bodysuit was going to snap under my booty. Like, it's not made for people with booties, okay? <laughs> and I should have known, I kind of figured, but laziness got the best of me. I should have adjusted it. But looking at it, it looked like it would be long enough, but that thing did not even cover half of my butt. And I think one of the major issues why that happened as well is that this fabric has no vertical stretch. So there was no way it was going to stretch under to snap. Needless to say, I had to chop off the entire bodysuit section, which is why it's now a top. And because the legs were cut a bit high, it's kind of a crop top. <laughs> so unfortunately, it doesn't stay down in the skirt. But I'm still gonna wear it. I did take pictures in it still with the skirts anyway, but I'm most likely gonna be wearing this with jeans. This is the back. I made a turtleneck, although I live in a very tropical climate. Call me crazy. But this fabric is really, really thin anyway, that you can probably see through right here. It's very, very, very thin. So I saw this up on the surger. I did have some issues hemming on my regular machine um the fabric is really 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 thin and stretchy i'm not used to working with such such thin knits so it gave me a little bit of issues but i still think it came out good and with the skirts i think this is it just looks amazing like the color combo is really really cute this is the skirt hair I am super, super, oops, <laughs> I am super, super, super happy with this make. It fits amazing. It's really neat. Love the fabric, except when I walk, it makes a very strange noise <laughs> because there is a polyester backing and it's very loud apart from that i really love this i omitted the lining of the skirt which is probably why the polyester backing is so noisy i know that i know that if i ever use this fabric again i'll make sure to line it but i really didn't see the need for a lining because the fabric is pretty thick anyway and i actually didn't realize that it needed lining so then i would have had to go out and buy lining fabric and i just really wanted to get it done so i didn't bother the front has two darts, the back has four darts, so it's two darts on each side. And the zipper is a double-ended zipper. And you use the zipper to adjust the slit in the back, which is so cute. This is the main feature of the skirt, I would say. So you can zip it all the way down, or you can zip it up as high as you want to. Like I said in my previous videos, this fabric is a stretch leather well full leather i got it from my local fabric store but it is available on fabric.com so i'm going to link that just in case you guys are interested and there's also another colorway available on fabric.com it's a leopard or cheetah print i think it's leopard and my local fabric store actually carries that one as well so i may just go back and get it <laughs> Believe it or not, that is all I managed to whip up in October. I had a lot of plans, but my parents ambushed me. <laughs> so my plans had to change a bit, but 
I'm not complaining. I had a really, really, really nice time with them. So I forgive them. But I've already started putting together things for November. I actually made another one of that same skirt. If you remember, I told you I was going to do one out of a black corduroy. I did do that and I love it even more than the snake print one because that one doesn't have any stretch. So it really like sucks me in and shows off my figure. Love, love, love that one. And there was a cutout sweater M8003 that I was going to make to go with the corduroy one. I've made that as well. And the combo is amazing. I love it. I cannot wait to show you guys. So sometime in November, you guys will see it. Or just follow me on Instagram at Island Socialist. And you'll see those pictures very soon. So those are all the things I made in October. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Also, I do have a giveaway running right now. So if you have not seen that video yet, please go and check it out. It's my 500 subscriber giveaway. There are two amazing prizes to be won. So do not miss out on that giveaway. Also, if you liked what you saw in this video, like the video, comment below. And if you want to keep seeing my face, do not forget to click subscribe on your way out. That's it for me today, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.